Hey everybody, David Burns, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper. Good to be with you again today for another beekeeping video. And today I decided to do a video on the coronavirus and how it affects beekeeping, how it affects beekeepers. In the U.S., we're quite concerned about the coronavirus and its spreading. And we're concerned about the, not only the uh, illness that can occur, but we're concerned about the economical impact that corona might have on the U.S., um, as well as um, other things, as our ability to go about our daily activities without being concerned about doorknobs and how the virus lives on surfaces and people next to you on the airplane coughing. There's, there's just a lot of concern. Will there be enough toilet paper and uh, groceries and will these things be affected? Who knows, right? Nobody really knows. Um, and I, for one, am taking precautions on the other hand, I'm not panicking either. Um, but how does this affect beekeepers and bees? I mean, think about it. Can bees actually get the uh, coronavirus and kill all the bee population in the U.S.? Is that a possibility? Well, there is one bright spot on uh, bees and the coronavirus. Since bees are anthropods, they cannot get the coronavirus. Fortunately for us, that means our bees are going to be okay. Um, we are not worried about that. Bees already have enough problems with Vera destructor and other pests and diseases. They don't need one more, right? They already have enough viruses that they struggle with. And so we, we really need to be uh, good beekeepers to keep our bees uh, safe and, and healthy from all the viruses that they're already struggling with that are vectored or transmitted through the varroa destructor bite. So if you're not managing your mites well, uh, you're likely to lose your bees from the uh, viruses that are spread by mites. And that's a big deal. I receive a lot of phone calls all day long from beekeepers who are um, struggling with keeping their bees alive in the winter, sometimes even in the summer. And uh, boy, almost every time, uh, beekeeper, they haven't taken classes, they haven't been trained adequately uh, with the new pests and diseases facing beekeeping today, and uh, they're just not able to do the things necessary to keep a hive healthy. So if this is your first year to get started in beekeeping, beekeeping in 2020, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. This is exciting. Good for you. It's a hoot. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of um, advantages to beekeeping. Um, uh, that's really a beautiful thing. She's just looking like, hey, where do I, what do I do with this? But I just want to show you, if you're brand new to beekeeping, uh, this is what you're looking for in a high quality queen like we raise and sell. These queens are awesome. Look at that, a whole sheet of nothing but capped over. Very few spots are not capped over. So this is a very prolific laying queen. But there's also a lot of challenges. And if you are not prepared, uh, you're going to really pay the price in possibly losing your bees early on by your first winter, first year, by that furrow destructor or by not being fed well. So by all means, uh, consider taking a beekeeping class. I'm not just promoting my classes, but there may be classes in your area where you live and find out uh, where these classes are available and please take a class. So many people uh, fail because they just don't have the knowledge and the understanding of how to keep bees in 2020. It's more challenging than it used to. You're watching a YouTube video and many of you think, well, if I watch enough YouTube videos, I'll know how to do it. Mm, maybe. That works when you're fixing your washer machine or your refrigerator, something mechanical. Not so sure if it works with something like a uh, honeybee or our own health. We need to be uh, practicing good management skills and when we're working with a living organism. And that can't always be learned, uh, certainly by watching YouTube videos. The way I describe it is, if you were to get on an airplane on your first trip to uh, Hawaii from the US, and your pilot said that he's never flown before, but he watched a lot of YouTube videos, and he feels pretty confident that he can get this 747 up and over to Hawaii, you would, you would just get off the plane. That would be it. Kind of like that with honeybees. When people tell me they've watched a lot of YouTube videos or they've read some books, they know how to do it. Uh, you really need to work with someone that is very 
proficient in beekeeping and take a class with them and let them mentor you, let them help you along. This is something that requires more than just um, reading or watching videos. Certainly that's gonna help a ton. And the way this really works so well on YouTube videos, if there's a specific area, like I've got videos on how to do a mite test. Well, you can watch that video and you know how to do a mite test. But I, I can't make a whole video on how to get your bees through the winter. It would take too long. So I've made those into classes, online beekeeping courses that you can take. And today with the scare of coronaviruses, um, I was scheduled to be at a bee conference uh, next month. And it was canceled because in fear of a larger population of people getting together and uh, taking classes in public or being around other people that you don't know if they're well or not. Um, so online courses certainly are a safe way to get educated and really get up to date on what's going on in beekeeping world today. Two more things I wanna talk to you about the coronavirus and beekeeping. Um, one, with, with just what I just said is that bees can't get it. Fortunately for that, where bees are safe. But secondly, um, I read an article where a man um, became ill with coronavirus and he refused to take medication. Maybe you saw that article too. And instead he worked up his own concoction of warmed up whiskey with some honey in it. And he claims that he got better. And he really believes that was what made him well. I'm not a medical doctor, and let me just say right now, if you think you have any symptoms of the coronavirus, you should seek medical attention, professional medical care. Do not try to treat yourself. That's pretty risky in doing that. Although I will say that honey has had, uh, all throughout history, uh, reference to its uh, medicinal effects on various things making us healthier or helping us. Uh, it has a lot of medicinal uh, claims to honey but you should not forego professional medical care uh, and just uh, live off of honey to solve all your problems. Don't do that. But this is a, a third thing to bring up about the coronavirus and beekeeping, and that is anything that we can do to become more self-sufficient, more prepared for some type of catastrophe, calamity that might strike us in the U.S., it's always good to be more prepared and to be self-sufficient as best we can. And beekeeping supports self-sufficiency in that maybe you have a garden, your own crops, your ability to make food uh, through your gardens, your orchards, your cattle, and beekeeping really does support that. It does support that through pollination. Bees going out and pollinating your clover uh, fields for cattle or your, your uh, fruits and vegetables for you storing up your food. And it, of course, replaces sugar, so it gives you a sweetener. And uh, so honey does, uh, it's a great time to get into beekeeping when things are so uncertain for our future to become a little more self-sufficient. It is scary at times at how fragile everything is with our economy, with uh, some sort of virus that can, you know, get into uh, the population so easily. So we do need to be better prepared. So I, I want to encourage you, if you're not keeping bees, get into it. it. It really is a cool thing to do. And it's still time in 2020 to make this the year that you start keeping bees. If you live here in Illinois, drop by and see us here at Long Lane Honeybee Farms. We'd be happy to work with you and help you get started. We do have a lot of online courses that you can sink your teeth in, watch from the convenience of your home at your own pace. That'd be a lot of fun, basic beginner classes. We've got some spring classes for those of you that are just uh, finishing up getting your bees through the winter. You're ready to make some splits or super your hives up for some more honey. Not sure how to do it. Got a spring management class available online as well. Also, the last video that I made had a lot of responses to feeding your bees in the spring. Sold out of our feeding system. Got some more made up for us now. They're back online. We apologize. You're just going to have to check our website. Uh, as soon as these sell out, we get our team making more and we put them online. So just keep checking online as these are so popular with our additives. So we appreciate you uh, supporting this effort to really keep bees healthy by feeding them adequately in the spring. 
Well, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure and subscribe down below. Just click on the subscribe button. We are growing so quickly on this great beekeeping channel on YouTube, so we want you to subscribe. You can also click on the bell. That will give you a little indication every time I make a new video, so you'll be alerted so you can watch what I'm doing on the next video. And we have a special offer that we're gonna make because of the coronavirus scare. Um, it is uh, sweeping across our nation, causing a lot of panic. People are not wanting to go places. And some of you have signed up to attend beekeeping classes at different parts of the U.S. where there's crowds to take these classes. And some of you are telling us you're not going to go to those classes because you don't want to be in a crowd or a classroom with other uh, students. And some of these classes are held at universities or colleges where those have been canceled. So we're going to offer 50% off all of our online beekeeping courses for a while. Uh, so that all of you can enjoy uh, taking these courses at home. We realize that you're trying to get ready for spring and beekeeping and all, and you might be in a pinch on getting a course under your belt before the bees arrived. So we're going to uh, offer that out there as a way to help you uh, get the training that you need before you start beekeeping, or even now that you're keeping bees, you need that knowledge. So all of our online beekeeping courses, 50% off for a while. So take advantage of that. Follow this link down below and take advantage of that. And uh, we appreciate you uh, watching again. Be safe, be careful in all your endeavors. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. <music>